Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic start to your weekend. Today on the show, we have new free money rewards in GTA Online that Rockstar just sent out. And we also have new money bonuses this week that allow players to earn lots of money really fast and easy for really only doing a few simple things here in GTA Online. And so today, we're going to be breaking down the top five best money methods and money metas out there right now that you can start farming to make millions of dollars this week in GTA Online. Welcome back to this week's money guide, everyone. If you enjoy the content at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it and if you want to stay up to date with everything gta online and rockstar games then consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on Starting off, we have our weekly challenge rewards for free money and unlocks. We have the Fooligan job rewards and unlocks as our first section of this part of the video. If you complete just one Fooligan job, that's going to land you the Ice Vinyl and the Ice Vinyl Cut Jackets, which are pretty cool unlocks here. And players who want to keep grinding these, as you should while you're tending to your acid lab trying to get the equipment upgrade if you have not already, successfully completing 10 of these Fooligan jobs is going to net you both of the black and white bigness ski masks. And then the big grinders out there who complete 25 Fooligan jobs over the next two weeks, they will receive the LS Smoking Jacket. Now, in addition to those three Fooligan job rewards and unlocks, all players who purchase or those players who already own the equipment upgrade for the Acid Lab will receive the yellow SN Rooster Revere Collar Party shirt, and all players who complete three Fooligan jobs as an associate or a bodyguard this week will also receive a bonus of 100,000 GTA Online dollars deposited into their Maze Bank account within 72 hours of completion. Now, all those clothing accessories and the money will be awarded and distributed distributed within 72 hours after logging in January 10th. So say if you're playing this week and you're like, wow, I didn't get these rewards, then you just need to wait until after January 10th because these rewards last and have a basically a shelf life of the next two weeks here in game. The free snowman outfit can still be achieved from the snowman collectible reward, so that's pretty cool. Basically, if you're not familiar, we have a bunch of different collectibles here in this game. There's 25 snowmen you need to find on the map and destroy them. Destroying one snowman will net you 5,000 in-game dollars and also 1,000 RP, but if you destroy all 25 of them, you're gonna receive an additional amount of $125,000 plus the snowman outfit, basically totaling $250,000 that you can get from the snowmen here in GTA Online, plus that snowman collectible outfit. And then we also have another free $125,000 for just for basically logging into the game because all GTA Online players who connect their Rockstar Game Social Club account to Prime Gaming before January 25th will receive the Sprunk Snowflakes festive sweater and a lump sum of 125 k just for playing any time. Moving on, we have our second money method this week, which consists of several of the weekly bonuses. First, double money and RP on the Smuggler's Run Cell Missions. This is the heavy hitter of the weekly bonuses right here. Rockstar already permanently made this business triple money in RP with the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC update, but now this week they're doubling those already tripled rewards, and this means that players are now going to be earning essentially six times money in RP with the air freight cargo this week. Source missions, yes, they're very grindy and they do take a long time to source 50 crates for so you can get that max sell bonus, but if you have a fully stocked hangar of either narcotics, chemicals, or medical supplies, normally you'd make 2.55 million with the permanently triple the rewards as of Los Santos Drug Wars, but now with double money on top of the triple money, you're making 5 million $100,000 per cell mission. If you get a high demand bonus because you sell in a public lobby, you can make over $6.375 million just for selling 50 air freight cargo crates. So that's an insane amount of money to make with a crate business that's five and a half years old here in game. After that, we have double money in RP on the Ron contact missions. You know, when I tested this, you're making about $15,000 just for spending six minutes on these missions. You could take up to 15 to get the optimal money for your time spent, but I just rushed through one for gameplay purposes. And honestly, the payout just eclipsed $15,000. It's not really close to being one of the best ways of grinding money this week, but if you're looking for some very chill and laid back grinding variety, then you can definitely give these a shot as I doubt you played these contact missions recently. And then finally, we have the drop zone adversary mode, which is double money. This is yet another chill and laid back party mode to play with your friends if you guys just need a break from the free mode and the free roam gameplay loop. There's only so many businesses that you can attend to in Cayo Perico that you can replay before things start feeling really dry, at least in my opinion. And honestly, playing a double money adversary mode in between for an hour or two can really freshen things up and keep you on track so you can be sure to hit your money making goals for the week because the last thing you want to do is burn out on the bonus money content in game. So those were the two main methods of making money fast this week in GTA. Now we have to talk about the other three fast money methods. First, we have our weekly time trial, which is Route 68. I recommend to use a fast bike. Like honestly, I used to use the Batty 801. Now check out the new Western Power Surge or the Shataro or of course the Hukuchu Drag or a fast car like the Praia or the Krieger for this time trial. If you follow the route that I take, then you can beat this time trial in less than one minute and 19 seconds for an easy $101,000. After that, we have our RC Bandit the time trial, which is Davis Quartz. Again, if you're careful on those tight corners,
corners and on the ramps here, you can complete this time trial in less than one minute and 32 seconds, and you'll get paid a nice $101,000. And then finally, we have our HSW time trial as our final money method this week, which is East Vinewood. I'm personally not on next gen to show gameplay of this time trial, but I recommend that you use the Coil Cyclone 2, the HSW version, and it, you can complete this time trial in less than one minute and 21 seconds to get paid that nice $251,000. So with all that said, those are my best and fastest methods of farming money in GTA Online this week, outside of your usual day-to-day -day businesses grind. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with the best GTA Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about news, updates, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and I'll be keeping you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. And you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.